hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today we will learn about the remaining string manipulation actions in power automate desktop so let's get started so here you can see that there are there are variables which i had declared so variable name is description it is having the value is hello world which has a space at the end of the world right and then we have another variable which is called a description underscore two and which has the same value but it does not have uh, space at the end of the word right so so now today what we will we are going to do is today we will learn about the join text action right and here you see that it says that it specified the list to join right and here you can choose the variable so it is asking you to provide the list list variable so if you remember that we had learned about the list types in power automate desktop in my other video so if you haven't watched that please access the link in the description and please watch that video to understand how you can work with the list in power automate desktop so here now what i'll do is i'll just search create new create new list i'll drag and drop this action list name is list right and then i'll choose the another action which is called add item to list and drag and drop this we'll choose the list data type and sorry i'll copy this here and we'll put the value as of uh, team another one more time we will drag and drop add item to list this is regarding your order number one two three please find your order details and into the list right so like this we have added now what we want to do is we want to convert what were the items are added in this list variable we want to join these all the items we want to join it so how we can do this that we can achieve by using the join text join text will take the list and here we have delimiter to separate the list items so here we have an option like standard do you want to join it by the space or you want to join it by tab or new line i would say that let's join it by new line okay so it will be the way it is so in the first line it will be like hi team and the next line it will be this is regarding your order number right click on save and i'll just put the breakpoint before joining so that i can show you how the list items are available in the list type so when i run it you see here that it says that on the zero index it is having i team and in the first index it has the remaining text right and the moment I click on run next action you will see that it is having the data like this so it says hi team and this is regarding your order number please find your order details right so this this is very handy uh, when you are trying to you know uh, print a data table while sending an email and that data table 
is a very dynamic right I will show you uh, I'll create another one more video where I'll show you how you can send an email with the dynamic data table and the data will be structured in the data table format and that can be sent to your recipient so that also can be achieved using the list right so this is how you can use the join text so the next action that we will learn about is a split text a split text is very handy in automation and you can use it to split a text by a specific delim delimiter right here we have a variable which is called as description and it has a value as hello world and then i can say that it has a semicolon then i can say that uh, australia then england right and then uh, i can use this split text action here i can use the variable name that we want to split and the standard you have space tab and new line you see that there we don't have any such delimiter it is semicolon so i can use the custom and specify the semicolon say so here it is asking is this a regular expression i say no it is not a regular expression and the value will be stored in the text list you can click on save now when you run this bot you will see that at the first index of the text list you will have hello world at the second index it will have australia and the, and the uh, on the on the first index it will have australia and the second index it will have england right so this is how so when you will use a split text the output will be always of the list type right and you know that when you have some uh, items which are in the list types you can always perform for each loop you can access the elements based on the index right and all these options will be available so i'll tell you about a use case which which you you can uh, use in your automation so for example you are creating a bot which will process certain items right after processing every item you want to drop an email to a set of people right and at times let's say after a period of two three months there is another person whom you want to send that email right what you can do is so let's say i'll use this i'll rename this variable as email ids correct so i'll give the let's say the first email is uh, john at gmail dot com and this person will be your so anything before the first delimiter will be in the to field right and after this mark at gmail.com just some random email i'm giving okay so so this mark will be in the cc and another pipe symbol i'll use and to you know specify that okay so the third one will be bcc so we can say that sierra at gmail.com so these are your email ids i can read i can replace this so variable with email ids and here we have the delimiter as pipe so i can use a delimiter type as custom only and specify this pipe symbol now this text list will have will have the email ids 
in the form of list right so at the zero index we have john and the first index we have mark and at the second index we have sierra right so let's say after a period of time you want to add one more person in the cc field right so you have put the semicolon because in the outlook when you have to put more than one person you have to use semicolon to add another email id right in the same way we will do this so we can say that okay peter at gmail.com now when i run this bot you will see that text list will have peter at gmail.com which is the first index right so yet when you split it okay so now you also know that okay when you when the because after splitting it it the data will be stored in the list type and you know that on the list type you can specify you can use the count action count function right count property which will give the number of items available in the list so I use text list dot count and if you don't know about this action you can always click on this variable uh, symbol and then come to this it will show us that okay the text list is having an attribute which is called as count is three so we know that because the you here can see that okay there are three items right so if it is three i can say that okay set variable I can rename this variable name as email2 and the value at the first index we know that it is email2 right and we can copy paste we can copy paste it again and here we can specify that this is at the first index we have the emails for CC and the second index we have email BCC right now let's run the bot The moment you will run it you will see that all the values are filled because the item was indeed three after splitting it count was three and here you see that all the email ids are filled and then you can use these variables in your bot so that you know you can send an email so if you hard code this value here i have shown this for uh, in the automation in power automate that how you can do this but the same value you can keep it in somewhere in the notepad or in the excel right and then you can read that data from that notepad file and then you can split it so as and when uh, you you want to add some more person say email id then you in that case you will not have to edit your code in that case you just what you just have to do is you just open that file and wherever you want to add the email id at the first place you can just put the semicolon and put the email id so that way you can use this this is about the join text and split text action in the next video i'll show you about so how you can use the parts text and replace text and the remaining functions of the text uh, manipulation or string manipulation in power automate if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day